Hello there champions, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Koketa Muludi. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and I hope that all is well on your side. On my channel we talk about the different kinds of ways um, that we can make money online, different kinds of opportunities that, that there are out there, online opportunities, local opportunities and international opportunities. So if you're somebody that is interested in that kind of content, please do subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I do drop a video. Now, thank, I'd also like to take this moment moment to thank all the people that have subscribed to my channel so far it really means a lot to me guys and i would also just like to say that um guys just remember right um that it's really important to like kind of um engage in, in in the kind of content that i create right meaning um i would really like it if you would just like the video and just comment down in the in, in the comment section below even if you can just leave a heart or just say i really liked your video like it would really mean a lot to me because that is really good for the youtube algorithm like so that they can pick up my videos and that i can get like more views and then making what i do relevant right now that i've gotten all of that out of the way in today's video i am going to be talking about uh how can you make money as a student okay um you can never have enough money and all of the things that i'm going to be talking about today are things that you can do part-time right so they're not things that necessarily require you um like uh to do them like the whole day it's just something that requires you like probably just to take about three hours of your time um five hours of your time right um and even less you know uh, depending on how much money you want to make right and please guys just note every single thing that i am going to be talking about does require you to put in some kind of effort in order for you to re to see the results so without any further ado let us get straight into today's video 10 ways that you can make money as a student in 2024 so the first way that you can make money is by becoming a promoter and a promoter's job is to help brands advertise their product. Now, have you ever gone to, let's say, um, a shopping center and you see people wearing, let's say, the brand Cadbury, right? And you, they have like little small samples of the, the new product. Let's say Cadbury has launched a new uh, chocolate bar and it's got these really like amazing things in it, you know. Um, and basically they give out really small samples to help you taste how this new chocolate bar tastes and they uh, basically give you more information about what this chocolate bar can do let's say it gives you like an ample amount of energy and you can get things done quickly because you're eating this new chocolate bar and basically that's what you're going to be doing as a promoter just talking more about the brand you know obviously they're going to give you a briefing of what you must do there um sometimes you just require to hand out pamphlets you know so as a promoter you're going to be expecting to work from as little as about like let's say an hour uh, all the way up to like five, hour, five hours and more depending on which day of the week it is and what you're going to be doing right uh, I'm going to be doing a whole video that talks about uh, where you can find jobs that are promote, uh, uh, jobs as a promoter because that's going to be like a little bit of a lengthy video so if you're interested in that please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you are notified when I do drop that video and as a promoter you can get uh, you can expect to get paid from let's say um as little as 100 rand uh, per hour going up depending on where you're going to be working now number two is to become a personal shopper and a personal shopper's job is to basically shop on other people's behalf. So basically what you do, let's say you go to shops such as Marawastad, Small Street, right? Uh, wholesalers where you don't get uh, clothes for like an expensive price, right? And you basically go and you fit the clothes there, right? And you take a picture of you wearing those particular clothes. Now, as humans, we gravitate towards things and towards style um, versus what we see on other people. Hence why there are places such as Pin Interest. When we go there, we go there to look for inspiration and how people actually put their styles together. So you basically go and you style that particular outfit. Now, once you're done, you're gonna post those pictures on um, social media platforms such as Facebook, such as Instagram, Twitter, even TikTok. There's even this lady on TikTok, I know a skinny one, and I want one that is thick and basically they let's say take pictures of themselves I think they're from Durban if I'm not if I'm not mistaken and they take pictures of themselves in a dressing room and they wear like the different that they, they they try on the different kinds of dresses and then they take pictures and then down in the description box below you usually see how much the dress is for for example you're gonna find that they put their 
um, you can get the dress for about 300 rands, right? And basically, uh, they are going to purchase the dress for, let's say, um, 150. And the remaining 150, they are going to get for, like, they're going to keep for themselves. And that's the profit that they're going to make from doing so. So that's basically your job as a personal shopper. Uh, the, th uh, the third way that you can make money is by selling your school notes on platforms such as study pool and stuvia and people are making a couple of thousands per month by doing this um and they are people let's say you are doing a bachelor's in education who are interested in buying a summary of your notes and i say and assignments right uh, because obviously that makes it a whole lot of uh, a whole lot easy you know and that's going to help them with their study um a process and i uh, i would just also go on the platforms on stuvia and study pool and kind of just check out what the other people are doing and basically you can also kind of do the same thing just in a different way right because obviously as people we study differently and there's some people that study like in mind maps like for example if you see that somebody else um has their notes in point form you just create a mind map because some people study via mind map and find like um the explanation via doing a mind map uh, to be much easier the fourth way to make money as a student is to sell fine fragrance uh, perfumes and I have a whole video guys on um, this so this is the size of the perfume and you basically buy one for 30 rand and you sell it for 60 rands right I have a whole video that talks about um, selling fine fragrance uh, perfumes so please go back um, and check that out if you are interested in this particular opportunities and basically it just gives you opportunity to double your income because literally you buy the perfume for 30 rands and you sell it for 60 rand number five would be to offer a beauty a beauty service or to sell beauty products such as hair such as lashes um that kind of stuff you know nail polish um but however offering beauty products as well is also just as um good and can make you quite a lot of money the beauty industry is not only the biggest in the world it literally is a billion air um industry but however it's also quite popular um especially in uh places where there are a lot of students and there are a lot of uh, like people that are in the youth because i mean guys who doesn't want to be beautiful especially at that age you are taking extra care of how you look and that kind of stuff so like people pay as much as 250 300 just to do their nails sometimes even more depending on how good you are and you can learn those kind of things off of youtube like you can literally learn how to do other people's nails off of youtube you don't have to go to school to learn how to become a, a, a nail technician right and there are also other services that you can offer such as doing people's hair which you can also learn off of youtube and such as becoming a eyelash technician or just kind of inst uh, installing lashes that's another um service that is really popular the sixth way that you can make money is by teaching english online and there are people that are making like about 2.5 per week 12,000 per month just as students um part-time literally teaching english online so it is possible to do this right and once again guys you can also tutor the subject that you are either um studying especially uh, if you're like in second year third year or you can tutor people that are in high school and have done subjects that you have done for example history and business right um, and mathematics if you're really good at maths because um, maths and english are really popular you know so there are many platforms out there that accept students to tutor on their platforms so you're welcome to uh, go and apply there and of course to um esl companies that hire english teacher and if you want to become um an esl teacher if you don't know already guys you can go and purchase a free um uh, not purchase i mean you can go and get rather um a free TOEFL certificate on a company called teacher records if you don't already know about that the seventh way that you can make money as a student is to become a content creator. Now, this is very broad, right? Because you can become a content creator on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and even by, like, if you're somebody that is camera shy and is afraid to show your face on YouTube, you can start a faceless YouTube channel, right? There's so many tutorials here on YouTube that literally teach you how you can start a faceless YouTube channel. And these days, they're really popular and... 
um making quite a lot of money so guys please don't uh, forget right and you literally right now don't have any excuse and if you're somebody that is worried about what kind of content you're going to create create like uh, start off with vlogs or start off with things that you are passionate about talk about things that you're already passionate about right or talk about topics that you are passionate about if you're somebody that's interested in political matters talk about that if you're somebody that's interested um in the news because that is like literally by you just getting started you're going to find your passion along the way right um content creation guys i'm not going to lie it's not a get rich um a quick scheme you know literally it takes time for you to like grow on the platform but how However, it, it is possible as I said right and I didn't make a disclaimer when I first got started that all the suggestions that I suggest you I need you to put in some kind of effort for you to start to see the results number eight is to become a transcriptionist on Rev or Scribby or go transcript and basically your job as a transcriptionist is to listen to audio files and basically type out what they are saying easy as that so if you're somebody that is really good at typing this is the kind of uh side hustle for you right and you can expect to make as much as five dollars upwards depending on how fast you can type right this job guys all depends on how fast literally you can type um and yeah what kind of jobs you land Number nine is to make money through survey sites or money making websites and there are ones that are really good and such as all mutual rewards, snap and save, um, uh, sweat, sweat coin where you can make um, like real life money and one that I actually have experienced that myself so I'd rather talk about you know uh, things that I know of right um, if you're interested in me doing a, um, a video on the service I said you can do as a beginner please let me do uh, let me know down in the description box below the 10th way that you can make money as a student is by getting a job such as a virtual assistant such as a bookkeeper such as an OP because as an OPA, like literally in the morning, you go you drop the children at school and then you have the whole day free, right? And then you come back and at about like two o'clock, one o'clock, then you go and fetch the children. So that job is very flexible and is suitable for students. So if you're somebody that has got a car and a driver's license, please, um, you can consider that. Um, and yeah uh, so th guys thank you guys so much we've come to the end of the video i really hope that you like the content and you, you it has added some kind of value to your life so please do um click on the like button if it has and if you really like it and comment down in the, in the comment section below what you thought of the video and just generally just giving your feedback and what kind of video um you would want to see or what videos you would want to see next so thank you guys so much once again for watching till next time and thank you guys once again for your support uh bye